this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the command boundary curves in the wireframe and surface design in the Kitty V5. So I'm going to open up a wireframe and surface design workbench and uh, this particular command is being used to extract curves from the surfaces. So basically I'm going to create surface first. So for uh, creating a surface I'll create any kind of surface here. So let's say I'm going to create this kind of surface here. So I'm coming out of the sketch and I'm giving the extrude of uh, 45 or something. So here we have. And now I'm going to create another curve here. So let's, uh, I'm just doing it for the sake of projection, that's it. So it's nothing, uh, you know, more complicated or something. I'm just coming out of the sketch. So previous in my previous videos, if you check it out, you can see that I've explained this projection tool. So I'm going to use the projection tool here so that I can project this particular curve to the surface. So for using the project, I'm going to give a sketch here so that I can show the direction for the curve to get projected on the surface. So this is the curve here, and uh, I'm selecting the projection tool and selecting the direction, normal long direction, and the direction I'm selecting this and uh, projected and support is this one and click OK. So here we have this particular curve being projected. So you can just uh, hide the parent curve here so you won't get confused now. So I'm going to use the split tool here now. So uh, it's pretty simple now. Uh, you know the split tool and everything will be simple now if, if you have gone through the previous videos of mine so elements and uh, cutting elements here so just click OK and uh, here if you see if if just imagine if I want this particular curve so how can I extract this curve and that's where the boundary comes into the picture so I want to extract this particular curve here and uh, this particular curve, this particular curve here, that is a byproduct of the split command which you have used just now. So what I'm going to do now, so it's pretty simple. You just take the boundary curve, boundary definition dialog box will appear here, and uh, select the surface edge, and uh, you know the boundaries will be appearing. So here you have few options. Just click the complete boundary and click OK. So keep all elements and click OK. So you have the complete boundary being selected now. So um, here you can, you know, this is how you can select or extract the boundaries. So if you are very specific that you need this particular boundary to be selected. So if you have gone through my previous video, you can see there is a command being explained disassemble, which is used to uh, disassemble every group of bright products of any command being used. So here you have two uh, branches. One is all cells, in which uh, each lines will be splitted and uh, domains. So here I'll use the domain command. So if you want to know more about this, go to the tutorial that is Katia V5 surface wireframe and surface design disassemble, which you can see in my channel. So domain and click OK. So here I have two domains. So select any of the domain you want, any of the domain which you want to work with. So select this domain and uh, click. And whatever you want to do, you can do over here. You are always welcome to change, or you are, uh, you know, you can do any kind of command over here now. So just select this curve here and click the extrude button and uh, click direction. So you know you are welcome to do any kind of uh, changes which you want over here so this is how this uh, command works here so you can uh, you know change it or do anything here so I hope you understood how you can do the boundary curves so um, keep this in mind because on the further discussions we are going to use as boundary curves so I hope you enjoyed and uh, please subscribe me and uh, 
feel free to comment on my post and ask me doubts or uh, whatever uh, suggestions you have on my videos. So thank you.